physics means mechanisms, the mechanics of how the universe works. The original physics was that proposed by Isaac Newton. It was a physics based on understanding the nature of the planetary movements. And what did he do? Well, at the time Isaac Newton was working on the nature of the movements of the solar system, remember, the church was running civilization and led us to believe that the universe and everything was run by spirit and God, and we were more or less like marionettes driven by spiritual forces from above, etc., and that God was spinning the universe and controlling all of it. Well, Isaac Newton, uh, who followed in the footsteps of Rene Descartes, looked at the universe like Rene Descartes and saw it as a machine. He said, look, I mean, look, you can follow the stars and the planets, you could tell time by them. My God, the universe is like a clock. Well, they started to look at the universe, could it be just a mechanical mechanism? And so Isaac Newton created a special mathematics to study the universe called differential calculus. And from that calculus, he created equations where he put data in about the characteristics of the universe, of the planets in our solar system. He put in the size of a planet, the mass of a planet, the speed of how fast it was moving, the vector and the pressure. So all that stuff get into the calculus equation. And what was the consequence? He was able to accurately predict the movements of the universe. So in his original equation, Newton presented the concept that the universe is a machine. He didn't say God didn't exist. Newton was actually a spiritualist and an alchemist. He was more or less of the opinion that God created this universe and the universe is a machine operating on its own. And therefore, we started to use the science of physics to understand the mechanics of the universe. Well, that includes everything in the universe, including us as part of that universe. So we want to understand how a human works. We start applying physics. Well, this was pretty cool, and the new physics actually did work and explain a lot of new things, and science created miracles with this physics, and everything was great. And in this understanding of the physics of the material world, it was recognized that the smallest particle in the universe that was physical was called an atom. And this was believed to be uncuttable, actually. That was the Greek definition of the word atom is uncuttable, the smallest unit of the universe. Well, all the way up until 1895, this held true. But in 1895, new insights were offered because they started to find that there's stuff inside the atom. And that led to the discovery of electrons and protons and neutrons. They said, oh, the physical atom is made out of smaller physical parts. But that didn't stop the physicists from going deeper, saying, so what are the new parts made out of? What's that electron made out of? What's that proton made out of? And this is where the world changed because as they started to go deeper into the fundamental particles, they found that there were no longer particles inside. They were vortices of energy. And the significance about that was the atom is fundamentally made out of energy. What appears to be physical is an illusion of energy because there was nothing physical in the atom in the first place.